There's been a big change of opinion in this country about Europe. No longer is it a sort of academic debating point. The vast majority of you now want us to be free of European Union. Let's have a trade deal with Europe. Let's be good next door neighbours, but let's not have 75% of our laws made there. And amongst the Conservative voters in this country, something like 80% of you think we shouldn't be part of the European Union. And yet you've been going on in local elections, in general elections, and in many cases still in European elections, voting for a Conservative Party, hoping that once David got to power, ah, just wait till David gets in, I've been told by many of you, that it'll all be sorted out, because this, after all, was the man who wrote in the Sun newspaper, I give you this cast iron guarantee that if I'm Prime Minister, you'll get a referendum on your future. Well, I'm afraid Mr Cameron has let you down like a cheap pair of braces because he's just said this weekend there will not be an in or out referendum on the European Union. He's also said his main reason for not wanting that referendum is he thinks Britain should stay a member. So damn you, to hell with you, your opinions don't matter. He's decided our future is to be part of this European state. You have been let down, you have been betrayed. The only party that is standing up and saying, look, we think Britain will be far better off outside of all of this, but most importantly, it's what you think that matters, that this must be put to a referendum. It's UKIP. We're the only people saying it. When a young activist from Oxfordshire wrote to Mr Cameron last week, he responded by saying there'd been a referendum on this back in 1975, and therefore it was a settled issue. The lady that wrote the letter wasn't even born in 1975. You have to be 54 years of age or older to have voted in that referendum. Most of us have never been given the opportunity. The only way, the only way Mr Cameron and the Conservative Party will give us a referendum in this country is if UKIP becomes so strong and so powerful that we make sure there can't be a Conservative administration again unless we get that referendum. So it's time really to forget about traditional tribal links to a party, put country before party, support UKIP, join us, help us, back us, and we'll get that referendum. With me now is Lisa Duffy, who is the mayor of a small town in Cambridgeshire called Ramsey. And as you can see, she's wearing her <laughs> mayoral chain. Um, Lisa, most people think that UKIP is a single issue party, uh, that we contest European elections, and we don't discuss anything else. How on earth do you come to be here wearing a mayoral chain? Because we're not a single issue party. We're completely relevant at local level and we live and breathe localism. So you've got Conservatives out there shouting localism, localism, but UKIP are delivering it. We work hard on behalf of local people. We deliver on behalf of local people. So we are relevant and 353,000 people also agreed with us. Yeah, I mean, this perhaps surprises people that in the local elections across England, a lot of people did turn out and vote UKIP. Mm. But just give us a sense of, of what our foothold is in local government in Cambridgeshire. It is about listening and working hard on behalf of local people. So if their issue is um, the gritting, we go out and grit the paths and we make it happen for them. If it's housing, if it's to do with the graveyards, parks, green spaces, we work there for them. Dog muck. You know, we're there, we're making it happen. And how many councillors do you have then? We have nine on our town council. Wow. So we have the... the the majority on there. We could have taken all of the seats, but we chose not to because we thought it was good to have a mixture of new and old. And you've also got a base in district and county council we as well. We have two district councillors and a county councillor, and we will be fighting for the third seat in this coming election in May. Right. And, and when you meet people, are they surprised that there's a UKIP mayor? Oh, incredibly surprised. But actually, everyone's going, good on you. You know, you're saying everything that we want to say and are told we can't say. And it's really exciting going around meeting other mayors from other towns and everyone's patting us on the back and asking us, how did you do it? Because, yeah. you know, they're there behind us and believe in what we believe in. I mean, one of the problems with local government, of course, is that in the 1980s, a lot of power was taken away from local government, mm. particularly in terms of raising money and spending money. And so much more of that is now determined at Westminster. Mm. How, I mean, what is the UKIP view on local government raising its own money, on local citizens? I mean... Do we believe in referendums? Do we, I mean, how, what do we say to people when they say, look, I feel that Westminster is detached from me, but I also feel the local town hall is as well? Yeah, and it is. It's about communication. 
We believe in local local binding referenda. Yeah. We believe in um, zero tolerance on crime. We believe on low taxes, small government. So, you know, I've got a budget of £130,000. That's not my money. It's the people of Ramsey's money, and I need to make sure that I spend it wisely, along with all the other councillors, and make good decisions on their behalf. And it is about communication. That's got to be the biggest point, letting people know what we're there for, what we're doing, but what do mm. they want. So it's a big two-way a two-way battle with it. So what's the biggest other. single issue in Ramsey? <laughs> There's no big single issue in Ramsey. Okay. Believe me, we've got a lot of work to do. What we're currently doing is building a parish plan, which will again, um, all walks of life, so whether you're you know, old, young, um, deprived, wealthy, it's about bringing that plan together and working on behalf of the community. My big plan as mayor is to bring in a youth town council so that we're actually hearing the voice of the youth because everyone highlights the bad things that they do, don't highlight the good. So let's get them involved in the, in the democracy process and there are future councillors in the years ahead and hopefully UKIP ones. And every year we have a, you know, a round of local elections that go on across England. Um, do you think that, that UKIP can do what you've done across the rest of the country? Absolutely. And people are crying out for UKIP. Absolutely crying out for it. So I would, you know, suggest to everyone, get off your backside. You've got to work hard. It doesn't come easy. No. But if you work hard, listen to what people want and deliver, they will vote for us. Well, there you are. UKIP, not a single issue party, not a party that just fights European elections, but a party that increasingly is fighting thousands of seats every year in local government, as we can see here, achieving some real success. A new competition. It's called Mug of the Month, and we want you to engage in this. Now, I'll start the batting off. My Mug of the Month is Gordon Brown. He said at the weekend that if the Eurozone leaders had listened to him, they wouldn't be in the mess they're in. This from the man that sold 400 metric tonnes of gold at $258 an ounce, and it's now trading at $1,700. So I think he's a worthy winner. But please, if you see inanities, stupidities, email them into this address, and the winner each month gets a free lunch. Finally, if you like what you've seen on this podcast, tweet about it, put it on Facebook, let's get the UKIP message heard by an even bigger audience. Thank you.